Um, reasonable three quarters, um, but certainly overrun at the end. Um, you know, probably in the end, kept in the game from some poor kicking from from Frio, but um, you know, enough, enough to suggest that we're making ground in some areas, but also enough to suggest we've got some ground to make up. So, um, you know, that that constant 120 minutes of being able to be able to replicate it quarter after quarter when the opposition's coming at you, when you've got a bit of the run early on, we certainly had our opportunity, so um, we didn't make the most of those, but probably on the other end, to be fair, probably three hour in the same situation, probably didn't either, so I guess it evened out in the end and they won the game. I don't think so, Hammer, certainly from, uh, certainly from our from our end, they're a very fit group, um, and they've shown throughout the year that they can um, play at quarters. You know, we've, um, you know, again making the ground, but that's just part of the excellence part. The excellence part is being able to still do it under fatigue, and um, everyone's tight out there. It's just being able to still keep doing it, um, regardless of how you feel at the time. And um, you know, they got a little bit of momentum, and we stopped using the footy as well as what we were, and. And uh, that, that sort of pressure come on us and we just couldn't work our way through the midfield space and certainly couldn't get it inside 50. So, um, but that sustainability throughout a game is what we constantly want to get from our players. And we're just falling short at this point in time and, and, and sometimes we're making it hard for ourselves. So. Yeah, it did. Um, I can't fold our players at the contest. I thought our players were, uh, you know, equal of um, in the contest. And, um, you know, as the game wore on, as the ball got out, that, that, that's where we were sort of, you know, probably getting hurt a bit and uh, we couldn't get the ball back. So, um, you know, pretty important fa facet of the game. Um, you can lose it at the contest, but you've got to get the ball back and we just weren't quite doing that. So, um, again, I just, so that's just been able to keep, keep looking for it and, you know, we see a lot of um, great signs, but at the same time, and, you, and you're encouraged by that, as I was by a lot of uh, players who are out there, but rightly or wrongly, this is what we're trying to achieve. And uh, until we get it, we're always going to be searching for it. No, I can't be 100% sure. I mean, um, you know, we still had the numbers there or what appeared at least we were organised, but, uh, you know, they got a little bit more proactive and they certainly got on the move. If there's probably one thing I'd say is that they started getting on the move a bit more and we got caught flat-footed, so whether we are reacting to what they were doing, um, <laughs> in normal circumstances, that doesn't make sense, does it? But uh, with Sandlands going off and they get the ascendancy, that doesn't, that doesn't equate normally, but um, in this instance it did, so... Um, certainly movement is, is what you've got to be able to have. And again, that's just being able to fight through fatigue and, and be able to still be organised um, late in games. And we've shown we can do it. So it's not like we can't. It's just being able to um, still do that when the opposition's just got a little bit of, a little bit of um, oh, I'll say momentum, but a little bit of movement around there. No, I don't think so, because I think Louis was getting his hands on just as much footy. So um, you'd hope it becomes more predictable with Louis there. But no, I wouldn't have thought so. No, not, not on this particular night. No. Sorry, with, with them scoring so many times, it sort of just gave them an opportunity to get their press going time and time again and lock it in there, didn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah, as it turned out. Um, you know, I had a long, lot of long shots too. So, um, so you know, they're kicking some uh, behinds, but they also had some long shots. But... You know, early on we had certainly had our opportunities too and we missed some dead set sitters and they just put that little gap at a way venue when it's, uh, you know, it's pretty important and, you, you know, you start to get your back up and get that confidence amongst each other. It's important to be able to sink each opportunity you get, especially when you're away from home because um, you don't have that external influence that you've got of the crowd, whereas they do. So uh, we just kept them in the game a little bit and to their credit, they, they obviously turned that around at half time probably, but we got the rewards later in the game. No, injury rise have put up pretty good, but um, I've been scared by Mondays lately, so uh, uh, the old MRI scans haven't fallen in our favour of late, so on Monday, so I feel like we get out of it all, to all the time, but Monday always scares the bejeebas out of me. But no, at this point in time, we're good. Um, Jed Adcock, we're expecting to come back next week. Um, Xavier Clark is getting pretty close to being ready. Yep. Was there a 
No, not really. It's just one of those ones you sort of think what you need at the time and we sort of felt what we needed some midfield run. The game had opened up a little bit and uh, midfield space was uh, going to be import pretty important to get a hold of. So we sort of thought that by um, getting another another midfielder in there would hopefully improve our run at that point in time. Um, but yeah, And then he obviously come off the field. as a, It wasn't anything that he was doing or not doing. Cheers.